morning, everyone. It's fish on at Warden Lake. Opening day. And wow, what a nice trout. I'm gonna hoist them right in here. Look at that. Look at that beautiful trout. That's probably a holdover. Here on Warden Lake in the Columbia National Wildlife Refuge, the Seeps Lakes, just south of Potholes. We're fishing today for trout, opening day trout. Stay tuned for more action. Here we go. Hey, fish on. Opening day, action's nonstop. You know, I have a lot of great memories of opening day fishing. As a kid, going to the local pond for trout. Oh man, this is a nice one. Remember riding my bike. Oh, oh, there we go. Nice fish. Nice rainbows. Oh, got a rainbow over there on the planer board, looks like. Wow, look at that fish. Here in the state of Washington, there are a lot of lakes that are open year round. However, lakes like Warden and other lakes open on the third Saturday of April every year. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife does a great job of stocking these lakes. And we also catch a lot of holdovers from last year. We're getting some nice 13, 14 inch trout today. Opening day is just a great event for families to come. One of the things that Department of Wildlife has done in the last couple of years is a tagged trout program, where if you catch a tagged trout, um, you're eligible for prizes, some of them valued in the thousands of dollars. So that just adds to the excitement. Opening day is a great event for families. We've seen lots of kids out here today with their mom and dad and um, aunts and uncles. So it's just a lot of fun. I encourage you to head over to your favorite opening day lake and give these straw a try. Yes, he is. It's on. It's coming. That's nice. nice good. Like the fish. Joanne just got another nice fish today. This is a beautiful 13, 14 inch rainbow on a Kikita fly with a wiggle fin in front of it. That gives that fly some really nice action. And we got a little dodger in the front just for extra flash. But uh, so far the bites are coming pretty steady here on Warden Lake. Fish, fish! Down? Yes. Here, it opens the fighter. Nice. The fighter. Oh. Here it comes. 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 All right, another fish. Yeah, they're just coming one after another today. And they're all beautiful. 13 to 14 inch rainbows this year here on 
Oh, this is our first little guy. Our first little one. So we're gonna put him back in the water. Get some bigger fish. What's been killing it today has been the Kikita fly. We have a purple one with a little purple sling blade in front of it and a wiggle fin. And that wiggle fin makes all the difference. So I'm gonna swap up another Kikita fly. This one, a uh, nice orange color, I think will do well. And gotta remember that wiggle fin. And I'll put a little dodger in front of it. Running that on one to two colors on leaded line. And speaking of, another fish. Fish on the Kikita, oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice fish. Boy, I, I gotta tell you, this is pretty easy fishing. Just put your line out, troll about uh, one and a half, two miles an hour, and hoist them in. Nice, that purple Kikita is doing the job. Fish! Oh man, I don't think it's uh, even nine o'clock. And if my counting is right, we're at number 10. Now we haven't been using bait at all today. So according to the regs, we could release this fish and keep fishing. If you use bait, anything you catch, whether you keep it or throw it back, counts towards your daily limit. But if you're just using artificials, nice. You can uh, keep fishing all day. I would recommend that you go to barbless hooks. Nice fish. And um, you know, you want to take care of these fish if you get that fish oh came up if you get that fish that bleeds then you better keep it and that's your number 10 for the day but uh, so we're at nine we'll probably keep the next one and call it a morning out here on Warden Lake And this is number 10. We are all done. Less than two hours out here on Warden Lake. The pattern that worked best for us today was leaded line, one to two colors, 50 feet of leader, a Kikita fly, and most important, that wiggle fin on the front to give it some extra action. And then we got a little sling blade that we uh, put in the front there as well. You know, opening day is just a great uh, tradition that you can have with your family, taking kids out, getting them away from the TV, away from video games, get them out in nature. Um, they're gonna have a blast. So I encourage you to make those family memories with your kids. Those will last a lifetime. We'll see you guys on the water and online. The boat launch here at Warden is rough gravel. There's lots of parking. We got our 20-foot Thunder Jet in and out without any problems, so don't be worried about coming in with your bigger boat if you want to fish this lake. There is a handicapped fishing access location to the right of the launch there, and if you walk up along the shoreline to the right, there's plenty of places where you can uh, cast from shore. Lots of access for the shore anglers if you don't have a boat. There's also camping here in the uh, Columbia Wildlife Area here at Seeps Lakes. So um, you can bring your RV, you can bring your tent, you can sleep in the back of your truck. Um, it's a great place to visit, uh, especially early in the spring here. It's not so hot and uh, it's a little wet today, but not bad. Opening day, Warden Lake. I hope you guys had a good opening day and we'll see you guys on the water and online.